Kids today with all the bases. Sparta pitcher Ryan Quinn gets the infield pop up to work out of the jam. Bottom first we go. Sparta with two men on base. Kids today pitcher Jeff Ladowick gets the ground out to end that inning. Top second, Ryan Quinn gets the batter looking for a 1 2 3 inning. Bottom second, Kids today pitcher Jeff Ladowick gets the batter looking. All right, let's move on to the top of the fourth right now. Ben Haworth hits a shot to left, hustles down the second for a big double. He would later go on to third on a balk with nobody out. And the Cougars come away with one run on the RBI ground out by Josh Casterline. one nothing. Kittatinny over Sparta in an SCIL matchup at Sparta High School. Bottom four, Kittatinny pitcher Jeff Ladowick holding on to that one run lead with a nice scoop at first base to end the inning for Kittatinny. Top five, Kittatinny with strand a base runner as Sparta gets the force at second, holding on to that one nothing lead, still one nothing Kittatinny. Bottom five, Ryan Quinn for Sparta hits a shot over the outfielder's head for a big two out double. He would later go on the third on a wild pitch. A walk will give Sparta runners on first and third. When the ball is hit back to the pitcher, he throws over the first baseman's head. Oh boy, two runs come in the score to make it two to one Sparta. That's a big play in this game. Top six with two outs, back-to-back -back walks right here. Jim Carlson keeps the inning alive for Kittatinny with the bases loaded infield hit. They have the bases loaded right now. Then Bob Nottowick hits a shot down the right field line. That's good for a double, allowing two runs to score. And the Cougars now take back the lead, and they lead Sparta by a count of three to two. Kittatinny tacks on one more run as Steve Zappa with the RBI base hit. Four to two, Kittatinny. They're six outs away from getting a big win over Sparta. Bottom six, Sparta goes down in order. The ground out to end the inning, so Sparta's down through a final three outs. Bottom seven, we go. Zach Passarelli with one out. Oh, hits a shot over the bleachers oh, all the way onto the street. Oh. Folks, that's a solo blast. Sparta now trails by a count of four to three. Now first and third, one out for Sparta. Alex Makowitz hits one through the infield right here. Just like that, we are tied at four apiece. With a winning run on third and a runner on first, Mark Prager comes through with a game-winning RBI. Sparta comes back to beat Kansas City in dramatic fashion. The final score, 5-4. to four. We earned it until the end, uh, literally, you know. We, uh, it's definitely a sign of a good team. We came back, fought to the end, ended up winning. We really didn't want to lose this game, especially what happened. You know, we lost the game earlier to, to Westmore. It was pretty bad. We needed to keep our confidence up and keep the momentum going. So, I mean, you don't really want to lose a game in league play. So you want to get as many as you can. So we really needed that one. We want to have a good record just early in the SEIL, keep our hopes high. And we did that. We got the big win. Should be uh, up top for this week. Yeah, that's one of the things that we just talked about, you know, senior leadership, uh, leadership of even the guys that have been here for a couple of years, our juniors, you know, who played as freshmen. Um, you know, that all counts. And, and for them to, um, you know, not give in and, and really just go down fighting, that's all we ask for. Sparta was down by two, heading into the bottom half of the seventh. One out, Zach Passarelli steps up, hits a shot over the bleachers to make it a 4-3 to three game. Gave me a 3-1 fastball, you know, up and in. It's just trying to keep the team alive, keeping this in the game. That's two days in a row for uh, for him where, you know, we needed something big, and, and he uh, he came up big for us in, in both spots. Um, you know, the high point game where it got close, it was 6-4, they came back. You know, he leads off with a home run. Same thing here today. Um, you know, pressure on the line, uh, he, he came through. Then with the score 4-3, to three, Alex Makowitz gets one through the infield, drives in a run to tie the game at 4. He had been eating away on the outside corner the whole entire game, so I was kind of expecting something on the outside. And uh, it was a fastball about knee high, so I just wanted to put it in play and put it somewhere where they have to make a good play to end the game. And luckily it got, just got through for a base hit and we can tie that game. Mark Prager drove in the winning run for Sparta on the bottom half of the seventh inning. I wasn't too happy coming to that bat because I didn't have a hit prior to that. But um, I got a pitch I could drive and hit it in the hole, did what I had to do. Prager's having an outstanding year for us right now. Um, he's doing a great job. Um, he plays a great, great defense out in the outfield, and um, really, we're, it's a nice uh, surprise.